But that does encourage me that, that either PD or Bowser is ultimately the way to go here. And if I do manage the 49, then that will be a world record. Yeah, was pretty good. All right, let's see. How stupid, how stupid of a shot is this? Nice shot. Well, maybe it's not as stupid if I hook back to the fairway. But then maybe the other ruins in the way, the other ones in the way now, and it's not. Okay, delicious. Big head, big tailwind. Can I aspire for greatness? I think I can. Not sure what that does for me, but I guess aside from putting me like 50 yards closer, which might or might not be a good thing. Okay. Nice Dude, we got going here. Come on. Great. Why the hell am I... Oh, that's right, because it's not tournament greens. That's probably why I'm playing Sands at least halfway decent now when I wasn't before. Yeah, that match was scary. That was way more scary than it had to be. But yeah, I think Sands and Blooper honestly might be a couple of my weaker courses. In comparison to the rest of the competition. Maybe other, I don't know, maybe other folks have aversions to Sands and Blooper as well. Maybe I'm not the only one. However... Yes! This ought to be fine. I got a backboard. Stellar golf so far here. Come to Serena Beach. Alright. Ooh, good flag again. Okay. So do I just go for the easy approach? Or do I go for something No wait. That won't that won't actually put me closer to the flag. But I mean this is something you could do if you were stupid enough, is just actually just try to keep bouncing along this rock here. But I mean I already have what I need right here, so gonna be inside approach again here and probably from the bunker too so even more, even better or just or just get all the way up here a Lamau. okay volatility aside yeah the hook's gonna ruin that a little bit it is indeed it was the one that was sh it was one that was showcased I think a couple of weeks ago. All right, big tailwind. Oh, maybe I could just do something like this. Okay, nice in betweener. This might even go a little long, for all I know. Still 10 feet out. That's pretty good. Oh, 
Oh. Tricky pin, okay. I'm giving myself options so that in case I hook, I could still catch the left side. Or or if I'm in a little bit of rough, I still have just enough power to get there. Nice shot. This should bite at least as much as it goes forward, so we should be good here. Okay. Nice eagle. Delicious. Do it! Nice Big plant. This might or might not be approach range. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, just subtle, careful. Nice shot. Ugh. I knew that would end up being a little too hard. I tried to save it. Dang it. Because the, 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 the key is, you want to is that you want to keep the second bounce in play. After two bounces, generally, then the, ball's, then the ball becomes plush. And if the ball's not going too fast, if the ball's plush and you hit the pin, you're good to go. But because of that extra power in the plus one, that meant that I couldn't get that second bounce in. Another instance where having room to hook is good. Yep, here we go, making, uh, making Petey look good. I think I've hit every single sweet spot this round. Maybe a couple of, maybe a couple of exceptions. Kept it in play, because uh, a half punch six iron could definitely go rogue if you're not careful, especially with this flag. All right, prime real estate today. Slice keeps it in play. A hook would have been bad, but the slice was my backup. It's fine. Bag. Nice shot. All right, hopefully not disastrous here. That looked to be a fairly gentle bounce, so maybe I'm okay. Maybe not. Okay. All right. Calm down. Figure something out here. Figure something out here. Hmm. The problem is that with the way I, I would come into this, it's probably not going to bounce. Let's see. If I do that and that happens and then I just don't know. Yeah, something like this is already looking a lot better. Maybe I'll try something like this and then just backspin it a bunch. 
rectifying now. Vayner Pace? Oh, I took a left kick. Okay. I'm still technically on, on perfect pace. Alright. Oh, this damn flag. Let's see. Why are these lines so coarse? I need to know what happens if I strike this. I need to know. Uh, do I? I don't want to waste that now, though. Ugh, shit. Uh, I did not want that hook, but maybe just by sheer accident this will still carry enough anyway, and then I'll just look like a god. See above example. Okay. Hard pin managed. And right, what do we do here? Oh, uh, this damn cactus. All right. So this is my backup plan for dealing with this cactus. Is just doing something like this and then adding some topspin. Nice shot. But now what? Now what happens if I? What happens now if I if I slice though? Am I still going too far left and I'm landing in the water? For Pete's sake! All right, for all right, gotta save this for Eagle to save the pace. Oh lord, what an embarrassment! All right. No, the hook. Chip in. Nice eagle. Well, I did, but I'm not happy with uh, my my sands or blooper blooper results. I'm not happy with them. All right, well, so I more or less saved that. So that was the lesser of two evils. So I mean, as long as I get let's see three birdies and an eagle, then that'll be a new PB for me. All right, please don't land in the bunker. I chose three wood on purpose there. There we go. A little more control. We'll let this bad boy run. I like it a lot. Weird-ass kick. Oh, boy. Aggression? Boom. Wrong flag. That is a nice flag. Let's see stuff, things. Insanity. Whichever rock I bounce on, I don't give a shit. I want proximity. And I get the top one. Yo. All right, proximity today. I'm actually gonna go with the sand here just because I'll have an even better chance of being able to react to RNG with a sand wedge than I do with an approach. I'll be able to add more backspin if something goes if something goes haywire. And topspin will still be fairly effective. Yeah, unfortunately, that was a little poop, so... Yep, a little bit of poopy piranha here. Okay, 215. Alright, that's... Not a terrible flag. The cup is flat, but... This can be hard to land, so... Oh, let's see.
Maybe I'll end up a little left. Yeah, definitely sure, but... No denying that I'll have something to work with. Hey, Lamau. Har har. Okay, good. I thought if there was some incredibly stupid reason for that putt to mess. Alright. Oh boy. Front flag, okay. Not sure how I feel about that. This hole is so much harder than it has to be to eagle. This should have no risk of running into a bunker. This is all uphill. And then probably just shoot over everything if I can. Holy fucking shit, Petey. All right. Holy shit, Petey. Slow the fuck down. All right. I do have a grandiose plan. We'll just draw we'll just draw over everything. Yeah, we'll just draw all over everything. And then we got this whole hill that goes against us and to the left, so that'll draw us back even more. That'll draw us back even more. So this is basically, this is just basically some Elamau here. Alright, nice sweet spot. There is a chance! Uh, tricky putt, though, but... Okay. Skillers just be gone! Alright. I mean, for all the cheese that there is on this course... I'm still taking this. This course is hard. I'm still taking this. This course is hard. How delightful. Alright, got something done today. Yeah, there was just that mishap on 12. That was the only thing. That, that, that was that was right on line for minus 23 stuff. Well, that and that and the unfortunate uh the unfortunate stuff on on hole 14. So damn, this was this was actually looking like 4, 48 potential. Yeah, 40 yeah, 48 potential. Yeah, so not for that par and then so so that eagle on 14 was after the water hazard. So that's some pretty funny shit too. Funny shit. Yeah, uh, okay. Alright. Kitty is looking real fine, okay. <laughs>